Hello, welcome to our Minecraft 1.21 minigame district. This is Pottery Lottery. A carnival style, destructible environment minigame based around the wind charge and breaking pots. That's kind of what I'm obsessed with lately. This one's got a totally different feel and style from the last one. And I think you're going to like it. Check it out. We're going to break pots using the wind charge. What's cool is when you break a pot, the observer sends off a redstone signal which will make a dispenser drop an item if it's underneath it. Where you have the potential to win really good items or kind of rack up as many points as you can in four rounds. You get eight tries with the wind charge and then you can jump across the lava to get four more. If you're doing a bunch of rounds, the likelihood that someone's gonna fall in is pretty high. You just gotta aim. Some of the more hard to reach areas, I put like some higher point values and then some of the easier ones are just lower points and maybe like negative points. It is really cool that the trapdoors flip and the pots break. We pretty much can make destructible environments now. That's pretty cool. Bricks are plus one, red is minus five, honeycomb is plus ten, and diamond is plus five. Ooh, that's not a good round. A couple more, maybe. Oh, bricks. Brutal. Okay, yeah, that's actually a pretty good round. If you get lucky all four rounds, you could get every single item as a prize, but it's gonna take a lot of luck. Okay, 54. I was hoping, like, for 154, but that's alright. You could end your round right there and then just let the other player go. Maybe to make it harder, the opponent sets up the round. They have a couple extra pots to maybe sabotage. But I'm going for the risk. I'm jumping across the lava. All you gotta do is do this simple little jump. Boom, you get four more shots and a trial key. Nice. You have to approach from this angle. I set up barriers so that you have to make the jump and then walk over here precisely. So it's a really easy jump, but imagine, like imagine doing 20 rounds, 40 rounds with your friend. Someone is gonna be falling in. The four extra shots might help a lot or not at all. So that's kind of the risk you have to take. See if I got like 40 extra points, that would have been like an epic round, but this is actually just making it a pretty decent one. Not even one more? Okay. Alright. Fair enough. This is just simply what would happen if you were to hit one of these. Ugh, zombie! That's why the... That's why the wooden sword's here. If you die, that's the end. That's it. If you fall in the lava or you die, that is the end of the round. Your opponent wins. All four rounds. Is the risk worth it this round? Are you far enough ahead? You gotta kinda like strategize. Oh, I did it again. Definitely not intentional to show you how it works. I dubbed this pottery Molek land. I will protect my lands. Run! Flee! I'm going to show you how easy it is to set the round up. Very easy. Except I don't know anything about redstone, so I don't know how to make it not observe when I put the pot on there. I'm not sure. Is there a way around that? I don't know. Redstone genius, make a better version of this. The round is all set up. Ready to go. The point of the whole lottery thing isn't just like it is randomized drops. When you actually do this, there's a potential to get some of the best items that you can win overall. Let's see what we get. Oh, I did. And then we just got one of the maxed items you can get. All right, that is best case scenario. What do we get? Ooh, super prot. All right. Protection armor for a recruit of the copper army. Sweet. I think it's going to be a good replacement. That is a major upgrade. I'm definitely changing armor. Okay, I'm just going to keep this one. I like this better. Look at this fit. The netherite doesn't go with the shoes anyway. Alright, next round. Hopefully I'm getting another item like that. That would be cool. I mean, I would leave this game and still be pretty happy with what we won so far. Gotta go for it. We got one more round to try and get as many points as we can. Then maybe, hopefully, I'm leaving here with something. I didn't do any of the extra lava rounds. I could have got a lot more points, but I just wanted to see what it would be normally, like an average round. And uh looks like we got subtract the 500, divide by 3. I'm good at math. Give me a second. Let's see what we can afford. Nothing. <gasps> now we can get the boots. Stack up on some trial keys, maybe. Nah. We got a chest piece, so I don't really need that, but it is a different one. Hmm, let's see. Forged in the fires of Mount Gord for Lord Mortimer. Okay. Blessed by the Fire Sage Patrick. Whoa. Whoa, the Great Hall key. I can't afford that. It's not like I'm doing a major spoiler for my first world download. It's not like I've been working on an advanced trial chambers dungeon for three months where I'm going to put a lot of these mini games and stuff in. 
you know, collecting epic gear, making your way further into the dungeon, testing yourself in puzzles and games, but, you know, shh, I said nothing. All right, what are these water boots about? Okay. Oh, whoa. Uh, I just, like, lurched. Whoa, okay, whoa. I'm, like, lurching forward, okay. They work. Oh. I started working on a mega copper tree. We built a road system around the tough house. I've got a coffee shop I'll show you next episode. And this is how I don't burn out. And we're coming up to our Armadillo Rescue minigame. That, that's going to be coming out soon. I maybe need to get some sleep. Yeah, maybe in a little bit. So another fun one at the Copper Town minigame district. Uh, we're going to be uh, here for a little bit. Working on some different stuff. See you around. Peace. Not the boots. Save the boots.